According to Brandon Vera's scorecard, Jay Hayes light years ahead of Ahmedov. This is where this is going to be very important. Ahmedov's trying to pressure up against the cage. Is he going to shoot for a takedown? All it will take to turn the tide, to swing the pendulum, is for Akhmetov to body flinch or shoot him for a double leg and put Eustachio on his back. But it hasn't happened yet. He's got to get Eustachio on the ground. Thanks, but now he's got him pressed up against the cage, but he's not shooting for the double. Jay Hayes, good able to get his back off the cage. He can't get pressed up against the cage like this. In the first encounter, we saw these inventive outside crescent kicks and head kicks from Akmatov. They're not apparent tonight. He just doesn't have the same sort of confidence that he had in the first one to throw those because Jay Hay has been able to stop all of his takedowns, not, not take a lot of damage, and land strike after strike. Dead center of the cage. Southpaw versus Orthodox. Let's see the right hand from Jay Hay. He throws it. Akmatov backs him against the fence. Let's see if Jay Hay can spin him around again. He's got the body lock. Just, Pulled it. Just that. What does that say for the condition of Akmatov at the moment that Jay Hay can spin him around so easily? Well, the strength factor. Jay Hay is typically, you know, more of a finesse guy. He's able to improve so much in strength and conditioning that he's able to out the Kazakh up against the cage. And he landed a beautiful Muay Thai elbow to the hairline of Akmatov just moments ago. Akmatov trying for a two-punch combination of his own. But your stuck we hope you feel is in the groove, in the moment. Seeing what's coming from the Kazakh and responding. He turns him again, throws an elbow, breaks off everything right from Jay Hay Yustakwio. We are seeing a whole different game. The takedown defense has been the key to this match. He's able to stop the takedown, but also in the clinch as well. He's controlling Kairat up against the cage. A six-week camp for Jay Hayustagria. Said last time out, I let Kairat dictate the match too much. I'm not gonna do it tonight. I'm gonna dictate the pace. I'm gonna dictate where it goes. I'm gonna apply the pressure. And indeed, he is living up to his word so far. There has to be some desperation coming from the corner of Akhmedov. He has to start increasing the speed at which he's throwing these shots. He's got to let things go because we're getting real close to the end of the fourth round here. There's one of those kicks we're talking about though, Michael. Finally, maybe the inventiveness of the striking coming back into play for Akhmedov. Now he's getting the legs up on Yustakwio. Yustakwio's little shimmies, his little pivot, his quarter angle turns. They've been superb. They've been sublime for the Filipino tonight. It's the jab again. Boring, roving jab to set the right hand. There's another side kick off the lead leg. A wushu favorite. Roundhouse kick to the forearm. Side kick to the thigh again. Attacking the legs really well, and maybe that's factoring into a lot of these takedown attempts. Kairat might just not have the strength and support in that lead leg. Two punch combination. Should have gone for four or six there, you feel, Kairat at the top. Southpaw edging forward. His Dacrio resets. Is Tokyo going clockwise into the lead hand of Akmatov, which is where he wants to go against the left-handed athlete. One minute left in the fourth round. Wild looping punch from Akmatov. Tries to transition into a double lead. And Brad momentarily thought his Tokyo had a choke attempt. Kairat has been the distance twice. He has been the full five rounds with the champion, Adriano Marias, but now, Seen Jay Hay Ustakio in these championship rounds? The answer is no. This is a new territory for him. Look at him throwing the guillotine. Guillotine attempt for this Ustakio. Does he get to the big crazy? It'll be awesome. And now Akhmatov's free. Akhmatov inside the guard, top position, where he so desperately wants to be. Can he posture up and work some ground and pound late in the round? This is where he's tried to get the entire match. What can he do to Eustachio in this position? He's running out of time, 10 seconds, and he can get back up around five. He finally gets Eustachio on his back, but we've not enough time, and we're gonna go into the fifth and final round. It's gonna be electrifying.
Wow, what a way to end the round for Akbatov. After Yustak Rio was so impressive on his feet. And there's the flyweight champion, Adriana Moraes, watching closely. He says the belt is his, nobody's gonna take it from him. But these two gentlemen want nothing more than an opportunity to do it. Look at that, Jay Hay jumping over the kick to throw a right hand. Breaks away from the clinch, throws an elbow and backs away. Here's Kyrot, does some good work up against the cage, but look at Jay Hay just sliding out of the single leg attempt. Beautifully done. And there's a submission attempt from the gravity, Jay Hay Ustakwio. Kyrot's able to defend it off, but now we're in round five. Brandon, quick word, what do you think? The aggression of Jay Hay is increasing the striking superiority. Kyrot's behind on all categories. He needs to do something big if he wants to win this belt. Does he still have a chance? Can Kyrot dig deep and come away with the win? This is MMA. There's always a chance. This is mixed martial arts. There's always a chance of something happening in this right. match, right. even at the very end, Ready? in the last oh. round of the bout. Five minutes remaining. This massive crowd behind Jay Hayustagria. What has Akbatov got left? What tricks does the Kazakh warrior possess? And will we see Yustakwe employ the right hand? He said he'd knock out Akbatov with the straight right. And it's Akbatov who launches the heavy artillery early. Sidekick, it's worked a treat for Yustakwe all night. Outside leg kick. Good left hand, just needed a little bit more mustard behind it to that baton. Jay Hay felt that, he rattled his head back. That one landed cleanly. I wish you could see him follow up with that. Throw a leg kick behind that big left hand he's throwing. Body shot from Jay Hay, you stuck with it. And we'd love to have the gold here in the Philippines. And set up a showdown with Adriano Moraes. Fake there from Akbatov. Akbatov does have punching power. One big salvo could turn the tide here. You can see that Kyrat is starting to land shots. He's starting to, you know, pick things up a little bit. Maybe that, the, you know, the final round is he sensing that urgency. Or like we said, Mitch, could it be a deep water strategy all along from Karat Akbatov? He's looking the best of the striking now that he has throughout the entire contest. Very true. Jay Hay's slowing down a bit. This is Kyrat's chance to really put it on. Jay Hay. Oh, oh, shot there to the sternum from Jay Hay is stuck. We are. And Akbatov fires back. A lot of speed, a lot of power in that overhand left. Jay Hay stepped on the foot the same time that he threw that punch, causing Kyrat to lose balance. I like the strategy. Center of the cage, neither man willing to give it up. Right hand lead, outside thigh kick, clever combination from Eustachio. I like the way he punctuates each combination by throwing that leg kick. Threats the right hand between the double forearms, jab to right, the old one-two kick. This crowd starting to sense that they are two minutes and 20 away from a Filipino interim world champion. Jab two from Eustachio. The corner of Akbatov, but it's out there, man, to go to pull out all the stop to throw portion of the wind. Beautiful evasion from Yustakwiyo, lands in me. This is a treat to watch. Jay Hay Yustakwiyo at the height of his martial arts powers, Mitch. Good combination by Kairat to come in there with that straight left. Put a hook behind it, but he's got to increase. He's got to go for the finish. He's got to go for broke in the last one minute and 40 seconds of round five. Checks the inside thigh kick to Zestakria. Staring down the barrel into the eyes of Karen Akbitar. He's beaten him physically so far, we feel. Also, perhaps psychologically tonight. Time 
is ticking down for Akhmatov. 115 remains. Again, this crowd starting to bubble, starting to simmer. They're feeling it. They know their man is in sight of the goal. Under a minute remaining now. Akhmatov's got to pull out the stops. He cannot hold back any longer. Stapio dancing. Breaks the overhand right. There's a counter shot from Akhmatov. And again, no mustard from the Kassa. 35 seconds now. Stapio's confidence oozing out of every pore of his body. 25 seconds for Akhmatov to find something. There's the left hook. It's going to require a Hail Mary shot now from the Kazakh. He picks him up. He drives it down. But what can he find in 10 seconds? He's going to find a submission, but he's not going to get there. Yustakrio takes some elbows for his trouble, but he's going to see out the road. He got the judges. time for the greatness to be realized inside of J.H.U. Stockwio. In his world title challenge, he brings out the best gravity we have ever seen. His head movement, his takedown defense, the superior striking was on display tonight in his home. But as I'm looking at Brandon Barra's scorecard, the numbers are going. I saw a completely different breed of martial artist in J.H. Eustachio tonight. Dominic Lau. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the World Championship belt is the martial arts legend, Enzo Gracie. <laughs> and now, after five rounds of battle, we turn now to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have scored this contest in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. And now, the one interim flyweight world champion, at the peak of his martial arts powers. The emotion overcoming Eustachio here as Henzo Gracie congratulates the Filipino. What a night, what emotions flowing over here in Manila. This is extraordinary to see. That was an extraordinary performance from Eustachio.